वेलकम टू द इमरान एकेडमी आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू जनरल मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ टेंथ क्लास पंजाब टेक्स बुक बोर्ड लाहौर यूनिट सिक्स मैट्रिस एंड डिटर्मिनेंट्स एक्सरसाइज इज 6.5 क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फाइंड द इनवर्स ऑफ ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मैट्रिस एंड आल्सो शो दैट ए इनवर्स इनटू ए इक्वल्स आई फर्स्ट पार्ट इज So this is the first part. I want to find the inverse of this. Let me name this matrix as A. So here I want to find the inverse of two by two matrix. First of all, I would like to find the determinant of this. In finding the determinant, we multiply the diagonal elements and put a negative sign in between. If the determinant is not equal to zero, then inverse can be found. which is not equal to 0 so inverse is possible now i would find its adjoint adj of a in finding the adjoint uh this 3 will replace this 1 and 1 will be replaced by 3 <coughs> 1 is replaced by 3 and 3 is replaced by 1 these two numbers interchange in their their positions and the other two numbers are reversed in their signs now the formula for inverse is A inverse is equal to adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. So adjoint of A is three minus two minus one and one, and determinant of A is one. So after dividing it with one, actually all the terms will be divided by one. Like three over one, minus two over one, minus one over one, one over one. So after division, this is what we get, and this is the inverse. of the question further now we want to show that this inverse and the matrix when multiplied together produces the identity matrix 3 minus 2 minus 1 and 1 3 minus 2 minus 1 and 1 let's write it here Three minus two, one and one. Let's see if this was the answer to the previous step. Three minus two minus one and one. So it is three minus two minus one and one. This is our inverse of a. and i want to just multiply it with a to see if i get the identity matrix or not this is our 
A inverse into A. So let's multiply. Multiplication is something that we had discussed in the previous so many lectures and I hope that it is still in your mind and if you have not attended those lectures then multiplication is a simple process uh, there are two ways of multiplying one is the row way taking the first row and multiplying it with the first column then with the second column the first entry will, mul will be multiplied with the first entry this one will be multiplied by this one plus this one will be multiplied by this one then this first entry will be multiplied by this first entry plus actually uh, the second entry will be multiplied by the second entry and similarly the process will be repeated for the second row as well first element will be multiplied with the first element plus second element will be multiplied with the second one similarly this first entry will be multiplied with the first entry of the second column plus this second entry of second row of the first matrix will be multiplied with the second entry of the second column uh, this method is called row uh, method the other method is taking the first column and multiplying with the first entry of the first column of the second matrix then using the plus sign and taking the second column and it multiplying it with the second entry of the first column of the second matrix and so on then again taking the first column and multiplying it with the first element of the second column of the second matrix then using the plus sign then taking the second column of first matrix and multiplying it with the second element of the second column of the second matrix anyway whichever method you like you can use now it's time to simplify the process and see what is that we can get Lengi after the simplification process I got one zero zero one which is called which is called the identity matrix so a inverse into a is equal to i hence my question is proved Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe the Imran Academy for more lectures in the future. Till the next lecture, it's goodbye.